Sharon in Tucson, Arizona. Hey, Sharon, what's on your mind? Here? Hi, Tom. Thank you so much for taking my call. I'm calling to be able to share my personal story about illegal abortion. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm 76 now. I was 20. I was in my senior year of college, and I didn't, well, this is really far-fetched, but the truth is I hadn't had intercourse, but there was it was close enough that I got pregnant. And uh, abortions were not legal, so I was sent to a doctor who stuck <clears throat> tubes in me, and it took, oh, God, close to three months before I finally went into labor. The labor was horrific. Uh, the pain was excruciating. And after the fact, I was hemorrhaging, and my father went and called to find out what to do. Couldn't take me to a hospital because what was, happened was illegal. So uh, he was told to go and have me put my legs up against a wall and put cold compresses on my belly. Thank God I didn't die. Wow. I can't imagine what a woman would go through these days having to deal with that again. Your thoughts? Thank you for sharing that story, Sharon. That, that's powerful stuff. Um, I, you know, this, this is what it was like. For those people who are, you know, young people listening, if, if you were not, you know, if, you're, if you were not uh, of an age where you could get pregnant or impregnate somebody uh, pre-1973, you just don't understand what this country was like. Um, when people like Sharon and I were growing up. Um, I had a, you know, there was a girl, I've told the story before, I, and I, so I won't dwell on it, but there was a girl that I knew in high school that just one day vanished. She just stopped coming to school. And I think this was in 10th grade. And uh, I lear learned later, maybe a month later, that she had had a back alley abortion and she'd hemorrhaged and bled out. She bled to death at home, in bed. And, yes. uh, you know, and was found by her mother in the next morning. Um, and which was apparently not an uncommon story. And uh, this is this is what happens, Sharon. Thank I'm so grateful I was able to graduate and to start a job as a public school teacher. Good on you. Good on you, Sharon. And Sharon, thank you for sharing your story with us. It's a it's a it's thank important. you. Thank you.